Greetings to all. Today, I would like to address an important health issue that affects millions of people worldwide, that is allergic rhinitis. Allergic rhinitis is a diagnosis associated with a group of symptoms affecting the nose. These symptoms occur when you breathe in something you are allergic to, such as dust, animal dander, or pollen. Symptoms can also occur when you eat a food that you are allergic to. There are different names for allergic rhinitis, those are called hay fever, nasal allergies, seasonal allergy, seasonal allergic rhinitis. Let us begin by discussing the reason for allergic rhinitis. An allergen is something that triggers an allergy. When a person with allergic rhinitis breathes in an allergen such as pollen, mold, animal dander, or dust, the body releases chemicals that cause allergy symptoms. Hay fever involves an allergic reaction to pollen. Plants that cause hay fever are trees, grasses, and weeds. Their pollen is carried by the wind. At the same time, flower pollen is carried by insects and does not cause hay fever. Types of plants that cause hay fever vary from person to person and from area to area. The amount of pollen in the air can affect whether hay fever symptoms develop. Hot, dry, windy days are more likely to have a lot of pollen in the air. On cool, damp, rainy days, most pollen is washed to the ground. Hay fever and allergies often run in families. If both of your parents have hay fever or other allergies, you are likely to have hay fever and allergies, too. The chance is higher if your mother has allergies. Now we will see what are the symptoms for allergic rhinitis. Symptoms that occur shortly after you meet the substance you are allergic to may include Itchy nose, mouth, eyes, throat, skin, or any area. Problems with smell. Runny nose. Sneezing. Watery eyes. Symptoms that may develop later include Stuffy nose, nasal congestion. Cuffing. Clogged ears and decreased sense of smell. Sore throat. Dark circles under the eyes. Puffiness under the eyes. Fatigue and irritability. Headache. Most symptoms of allergic rhinitis can be treated. Some people, especially children, may outgrow an allergy as the immune system becomes less sensitive to the trigger. But once a substance, such as pollen, causes allergies, it often continues to have a long-term effect on the person. Now, let us see. How to prevent allergic rhinitis? Preventing allergic rhinitis involves minimizing exposure to allergens that trigger the condition. While it may not be possible to eliminate allergens from the environment, there are several steps you can take to reduce your risk and manage the symptoms effectively. Here are some preventive measures. Identify and avoid allergens. Determine the specific allergens that Trigger your allergic rhinitis symptoms through allergy testing or by observing patterns of symptom onset. Once identified, take steps to avoid or minimize exposure to these allergens. For example, Pollen Stay indoors during peak pollen seasons, keep windows closed, and use air conditioning or HEPA filters to reduce pollen entry. Dust mites. Use allergen-proof covers on pillows and mattresses, wash bedding regularly in hot water, and keep humidity levels low to discourage dust mite growth. Pet Dander If you are allergic to pets, consider keeping them out of your home or at least out of your bedroom. Regularly vacuum and clean surfaces to reduce pet dander accumulation. Mold Keep indoor areas dry and well-ventilated. Promptly repair any leaks or water damage, and regularly clean areas prone to mold growth, for example, bathrooms, basements. Maintain good indoor air quality. Improving the air quality in your home can help reduce exposure to allergens. Consider the following. Use high-efficiency particulate air HEPA filters in air purifiers or vacuum cleaners to trap airborne allergens. 
Avoid smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke, as it can worsen allergic symptoms. Minimize the use of strong chemicals, fragrances, and other irritants that may trigger symptoms. Keep your living space clean. Regular cleaning can help minimize allergens in your environment. Pay attention to the following. Vacuum regularly using a vacuum cleaner equipped with a HEPA filter to trap allergens. Dust surfaces with a damp cloth to prevent allergens from becoming airborne. Wash bedding frequently in hot water to remove dust mites and allergens. Keep indoor humidity levels between 30% and 50% to discourage mold growth. Practice good personal hygiene. Taking care of your personal hygiene can reduce allergen exposure and manage symptoms effectively. Wash your hands frequently to remove allergens that may have been picked up from surfaces. Avoid touching your face, especially your nose and eyes, to prevent the transfer of allergens. Rinse your nasal passages with saline solution to help flush out allergens and reduce nasal congestion. Remember, while prevention is essential, it may not always be possible to completely avoid allergens. In such cases, it is important to work with doctor to manage and alleviate your allergic rhinitis symptoms effectively. What about homeopathy treatment of allergic rhinitis? The goal of treatment is to reduce the allergy symptoms. Avoidance of the allergen or minimization of contact with it is the best treatment, but relief may be found with the homeopathic medications. Symptomatic and constitutional homeopathic medicines works well for allergic rhinitis. Thank you.